going on? It's Trey Armstrong. I'm sitting here wearing my favorite dance gear and workout gear, Tatika wear. You have to get it, y'all, for real. Okay, so that, that's a heavy question. Um, lesson I learned as a dancer is that you're always seen and you never, they never want to hear you. So as a dancer, my whole thing was how do I get beyond the wooden ceiling and then penetrate through the cement ceiling only to get to the glass ceiling. So as a choreographer, I hit the glass ceiling and I think I want to make sure that as a Canadian my vision gets out and that I'm not sacrificing my image or my vision to make someone else happy in Canada. That was another challenge I've had as a female. Um, how did I overcome it? I surrounded myself with great people. Uh, people that I could trust, people that weren't just yes men or yes women, but I definitely had people around me that gave me the kudos and the support, like, go ahead, girl, you did good girl. Sometimes you just need someone to tell you that. Mm, mm. I've worked with a lot of great people. Wow, I'm predominantly driven by men in my life. Weird. 50 Cent believe it or not, was one of the greatest artists I've ever worked with. He is a consummate gentleman, a, a beautiful person who cares utmost about women. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> he cares the most about women. I hold him in high regards because when I was a little Canadian girl, he took me under his wing and said, you know what, you will definitely work with me. We won't let you go. Um, and he never let me down. He brought me to Saturday Night Live. He brought me to Europe. It was great. Um, other than that, I love Kenny Ortega. You know, um, what was the song? What was the movie? Um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That was it. That was the first time I ever saw anything of Kenny Ortega's and I fell in love with him from the little scene in the parade where the girls were doing like the little fan dance and I'm dating myself. Anyway, um, when I met him on So You Think You Can Dance Canada, we became friends and he became a really good mentor for me as well. This one makes me want to have bad words. Um, the one thing about Canada is we have the greatest talent in the world. I'm very confident to say that. And most of the, the bigger thing about Canadians is we are the biggest incubator and developer of talent. As in we have the, but we have the best talent and we know how to develop it. So why the hell can't we keep ourselves here? I'll tell you. Platforms. We need way more platforms for artists to create way more platforms for artists to actually survive and support themselves financially. Which means, government, we really need some more money. All of these cuts that you're doing to the arts are not benefiting anybody. Do you know that art saves lives? Do you know that fitness saves lives? I'm living proof. Dance and track and field kept me off the streets and when I looked to commit suicide, it helped me not do that. So stop taking money away from the arts. Keep it here, create the Canadian brand, create that brand, market it, invest into it, and let Canadians love their own. I sure can. So the Trey Armstrong Give Back Foundation, it was created um, last year, actually 2010, by myself to, in order to give kids accessibility to dance and performing arts. The reason why it was is um, stemming from personal relationships and experiences. I danced my whole life, but I have four brothers and my parents could not afford my dance life all the time. So I had to quit. Because I had to quit, I quit dance because I was told I'd never become a dancer professionally. <laughs> Here I am. So the foundation was created so that other kids could have the same opportunities that I didn't get so that they could also, quicker in their life, develop themselves to be the best person that they could be. Self-confidence increases, self-esteem increases, through dance programs and initiatives across Canada, such as our free day of dance. We hold it every year. Over 500 kids so far in Toronto take, it, take on part in it. Capoeira, salsa, hip-hop, everything we give you. And this year we're adding on a dance-a-thon, so look out for that, as well as a theatrical event. So we just want to give kids the opportunity to shine. Easy. Okay. 
How do I stay in shape? I dance. And um, something else I do is that I, I like to eat properly. Um, I've had my own health situation where I'm now allergic to milk, so I don't get as much fat as I want, so skinnier me today. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I still love to eat, so don't stop doing that. You gotta eat. You have to work out, and I'm telling you, if you're gonna work out, just wear Tatika. Why? Listen, she's Canadian. This is a Canadian brand. It's, what did we just talk about? Investing into our own brands. Invest into Tatika. I love it. I think it's great. And I'm investing into it starting last year. How about that one?